Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. And students, today we are going to do an important session for Negotiable Instruments Act 1881. So every year in the credit officer and MSME and wealth manager level exams, a lot of questions are there from Negotiable Instruments Act. Koi bhi scale to scale 3 level exam hai, usme ek do teen question Negotiable Instruments Act ke hote hain. And all the times repeated questions are there, right? The kind of questions. The same, the crossing of checks, the section 138 amendment of negotiable instruments act, same questions are there and I'm going to share 25 questions today, 25 important questions from negotiable instruments act and stay with me. Let's start the session. My name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years now and this is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts. And Bank of Baroda scale 3 MSME course is already available on bankexamstoday.com. Link to join the course is available in the description. You can check the course description. Uh, just go to, the, go to the description and open the course if you want to. Very important question asked in a recent exam. If a minor draws, endorses or de uh, delivers and uh, negotiates an in, uh, negotiable instruments act, all parties are binding except the minor, right? Agar ek minor कोई भी negotiable instrument draw करता है किसी पे के उपर, right? Uh, whether he draws, endorses or delivers, he's not liable. Everybody is liable except the minor. Okay, so make sure that, okay? Even if uh, a minor is giving a check to someone, he's not liable, okay? Minor is not liable. All the parties are liable except minor. Okay, so please note that. That is a really important question. A minor has no liability under section. Uh, under the Negotiable Instruments Act 1881. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Uh, a share certificate is not a negotiable instrument. Which of the following is not a negotiable instrument? Promissory note, bill of exchange and checks. Three kind of negotiable instruments uh, are there. According to Negotiable Instrument Act 1881, share certificate is not a negotiable instrument. Okay, baki tino hai. What is the meaning of negotiation as per section 14 of the act? So transfer of ownership, pehli to ownership transfer hogi, possession and the title. Ownership, for example, a check. I gave you a check. For what? Uh, let's say I bought a chair from you, right? So a value hai uspe, right? So delivery, uh, I gave you the check, deliver kiya maine aapko check. For a value, aapko ek check mila mere se. Why? Because you have given me a chair, diye, right? So there is a value involved, delivery involved, and you are the owner of the check, and you have the right to claim money from me, right? So that is what, that is a, uh, these are the value, possession, and the title. For example, you can further negotiate to somebody, you can supplier a check de sakte ho, right? Even that is negotiation, okay? So all of the above are correct. What is the difference between endorsement and delivery modes of negotiation? So let's take an example of a check. Bearer check. What is a bearer check? The bearer has the right to claim the payment from the bank. Okay. Kisi ka naam nahi likha hua us pe. Uh, the bearer has the right. So a bearer check, a bearer check can be negotiated just by the delivery. Main yahan pe khada khada kisi ko bhi check de reta hu. To the holder of the check has a right to claim the money from the bank, right? So, here is not necessary endorsement, right? But in case uh, it is uh, order check, naam uh, likha hua hai Let's say it is uh, Vikas Kumar. It is written on the check. Uh, this check cannot be further negotiated just by the delivery. Koi aise hi nahi ki ja ke payment le sakta. Vikas Kumar hi le sakta, right? Usi ke account mein baise jayenge, right? So in that case, uh, endorsement jo hai khali delivery se nahi hogi. Endorsement is necessary for uh, instruments payable to order, while delivery is sufficient for instrument payable to bearer. I hope that is clear to you, okay? What are the types of in, uh, endorsements as per section 16 of the Act of the Negotiable Instrument Act? It can be blank, full, let me explain here. Full and blank. Uh, a full uh, endorsement is one where endorser puts his signature on the instrument as well as writes the 
नेम ऑफ द पर्सन टू होम द पेमेंट इज टू बी मेड ओके वहां पे अपना नाम अपना साइन भी कर रहा है और जिसको पेमेंट होनी है उसको भी लिखता है इन द ब्लैंक इंडोसमेंट द इंडोसर इज मेकिंग हिज सिग्नेचर ही इज नॉट मैंशनिंग कि इसको पेमेंट करनी है कंडीशनल इंडोसमेंट इज वन वेयर इंडोरसी लिमिट्स और नेगेट्स हिज लाइबिलिटी अपनी लाइबिलिटी को लिमिट कर रहा है अनकंडीशनल ऐसा कुछ नहीं है रिस्ट्रिक्टिव रिस्ट्रिक्टिव इंडोसमेंट इज वन इन विच इधर बाय एक्सप्रेस वर्ड्स रिस्ट्रिक्ट और प्रोहिबिट्स द फर्दर नेगोशिएशन ए ने बी को चेक दे दिया राइट right? uh, यहाँ पे बी ने नेगेट कर दिया कि आप इससे आगे नेगोशिएट नहीं कर सकते राइट सो दैट इज रिस्ट्रिक्टिव सो कंडीशनल में यू आर लिमिटिंग योर लाइबिलिटी सी और रिस्ट्रिक्टिव में यू कैनॉट Uh, आप रोक रहे हैं फर्दर नेगोशिएशन यू आर स्टॉपिंग फर्दर नेगोशिएशन ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट ओके सो दीज आर द टाइप्स हु इज़ अ होल्डर इन ड्यू कॉज होल्डर इन ड्यू कॉज इज द इज अ पर्सन हु ऑप्टेन्स द नेगोशिएबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर वैल्यू बिफोर इट्स मेच्योरिटी बिफोर इट्स मेच्योरिटी फॉर अ कंसिडरेशन एंड विदाउट नोटिस ऑफ एफ एनी डिफेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई बॉट chairs 10 chairs i bought 10 tables and chairs uh, and chairs from a furniture store right and i gave him a check the date on the check mentioned as 31st march 2024 okay 31st of march 2024 and i let's say i paid him 20000 rupees okay and uh, i went to his store on my car i seems to be a genuine person I'm, i don't look like a criminal or a fraud right so there is no way he he consider uh, that this check is not valid and that person knows me wo mere ko janta hai banda right i mean i know him mai pehle bhi purchase kar chuka hu usse so date is mentioned clear consideration is clear so he is a holder in due course he has all the rights right the priv- what are the privileges of being holder in due course ही कैन सू वो केस कर सकता है ही कैन रिकवर द वट एवर उसका जो भी उसने अमाउंट लेनी है वो रिकवर कर सकता है केस कर सकता है ही कैन होल्ड द इंस्ट्रूमेंट फ्री फ्राम एनी डिफेक्ट इन द टाइटल फ्राम प्रायर पार्टीज ओके सो दैट्स आंसर वट इज डिस ओनर बाय नॉन एक्सेप्टेंस एज पर सेक्शन नाइन्टी वन ऑफ द आर्ट सो वट इज डिस ओनर कैन बी वाई आर टू टू मेथड्स राइट डिस ओनर जो चेक करते हैं वो दो तरीके से हो सकता है एक बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज दो तरीके से हो सकता है पहली बात सो अ बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज दो तरीके से हो सकता है सी वट हैपन इन द बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज इधर बाई नॉन एक्सेप्टेंस बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज में क्या होता है कि जिसने बिल बनाया है द ड्रॉर वो पहले आगे भेजता है जिससे पेमेंट लेनी है उसको ही सेंड द बिल एंड द पर्सन who has to make the payment he accepts the bill that is acceptance that okay after 2 months i'll make the payment that is acceptance after 2 months he makes a payment right so if he is not accepting it so that is dishonor by non acceptance and if he is not paying it paying for it it is uh, dishonor by non payment okay so when a bill of exchange is presented for acceptance but it is not accepted ए ने बिल से पैसा लेना है ए ने बिल से पैसा लेना है राइट सो ए ने बी को बिल भेजा ओके दिस इज माय बिल एंड यू हैव टू मेक पेमेंट आफ्टर वन मंथ एंड बी सेड ओके बी मेड द सिग्नेचर ओके ऑन दिस डेट आई मेक द पेमेंट एंड सेंड द बिल बैक टू ए सो वट द डेट मेंशन उसके हिसाब से ए कैन क्लेम द मनी बट इफ द बी बी ने गुड्स रिसीव कर लिए टेबल्स ले लिए चेयर्स ले लिए वो उसने बिल पे साइन ही नहीं किए दैट इज डिस ओनर बाय नॉन एक्सेप्टेंस अगर पेमेंट नहीं करता टाइम पे दैट इज डिस ओनर बाय नॉन पेमेंट अ प्रोमिजरी नोट बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज इज प्रेजेंटेड फॉर पेमेंट इज नॉट पेड विद इन रीजनेबल टाइम एंड इन केस ऑफ अ चेक बैंक में डाला है तो उसको चेक को एंड चेक बाउंस बिकॉज ऑफ द इनसफिशियंट बैलेंस दैट इज डिस ओनर बाय नॉन पेमेंट ओके What are the consequences of dishonor of a negotiable instrument? You can give a notice. You can file a suit. The holder can file a criminal complaint as well under section one thirty eight. We are going to discuss section one thirty eight. You need to send a notice. आपको एक चांस देना होता है अगले बंदे को, ठीक है? Let's move forward. Uh, let's move forward. So, what are the essential elements? of a valid notice of dishonor as per section 93 to 
it must be in writing it must be in writing and signed by the holder it must contain the particulars of the instrument it must be within reasonable time ye sab hai then it would be a a valid notice of disowner otherwise it is not valid it should be in within a reasonable time must be in writing right particulars must be clear okay let's move forward to the question number 11 what are the modes of discharge of liability on a negotiable instrument as per section 82 to 90 of the act modes of discharge either you make the payment in the due course or the uh, the bill of exchange or the check has been cancelled or there are material alteration aapne jisko check diya 10000 rupees ka check tha he tried to make it 1 lakh rupee check to material alteration hai bank ne cancel kar diya to that is aapki liability discharge ho chuki hai yahan pe all of the above okay what are the crossed checks as per section 1 23 to 131 a of the act what are the cross check uh, two lines are there like this two lines are there transverse lines jahan pe you can write your conditions you can make it account pay check right uh, you can do a lot of things by writing these two lines okay account pay bana sakte hain that's the most common one okay uh, what is the difference between a check and the bill of exchange <laughs> a check is drawn on on a banker a while a bill of exchange is can be drawn on any person a check is payable on demand bill of exchange may be payable on demand or after a certain time a check does not require acceptance while a bill of exchange requires acceptance pehle acceptance hogi fir baad mein jo bhi decide hua hoga uske according payment hogi okay let's move forward ye ho gaya what are the types of checks as per section 6 bearer checks can be there open uh, order checks can be there on the bearer checks uh, clearly see in the bearer check kisi ka naam nahi likha hota no name is mentioned while on the order check name is mentioned okay on the open and the cross check in the cross check two uh, lines are there let me just uh, yahan pe nahi likha in the open and the cross checks uh, in the cross checks two lines are there uh, conditions likh sakte hain right modes of collection likh sakte hain पोस्ट डेटेड एंटी डेटेड एंटी डेटेड मतलब पुरानी डेट का पोस्ट डेटेड फ्यूचर डेट का चेक राइट सो दीज आर द काइंड ऑफ चेक्स वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ पेमेंट इन ड्यू कॉज पेमेंट मेड अकॉर्डिंग टू द अपेरेंट टेनर ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट इट इट्स मेड इन ड्यू कॉज इन विद इन गुड फेथ इन ड्यू कॉज विदाउट नेग्लिजेंस एंड मेड टू द होल्डर ऑफ द ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड ही हैज अ पोजेशन ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो पेमेंट इन ड्यू कॉज फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक चेक की पेमेंट लेने गया बंदा बैंक में राइट एक बेरर चेक की इट इज क्लीन द चेक इज ओरिजिनल राइट द सिग्नेचर आर मैचिंग देर इज नो म्यूटिलेशन और मैनुपुलेशन ऑन द चेक इट्स क्लियर सेम पेन इज देयर कोई चेंज नहीं है कोई मैनुपुलेशन नहीं है कुछ नहीं है चेक क्लीन है उसकी डेट भी ठीक है सब कुछ ओके है देन the bank is going to make the payment and the bank is making payment in the due course that is payment in the due course a bank ko liable nahi kar sakte yahan pe and what are the types of crossing as per section 123 to 131a of the act general crossing special crossing can be there account pay not negotiable crossing account pay kisi specific account mein hi payment jaye not negotiable further negotiate nahi kar sakte aap future mein check ko right so these are some kind of uh, crossings okay and what is the effect of not negotiable crossing as per uh, section 130 so uh, it it does not uh, affect the further negotiation of the check but protects the prior parties from the liability jo pichli parties hain a ne b ko check diya right b ne c ko diya so prior parties uh, ए ने जब चेक दिया तो उसने नॉट नेगोशिएबल लिख दिया नॉट नेगोशिएबल सो ही इज लिमिटिंग हिज ही इज लिमिटिंग हिज लाइबिलिटीज वो अपनी लाइबिलिटीज को लिमिट कर रहा है यहाँ पे ओके वॉट इज बाउंसिंग ऑफ चेक एज पर सेक्शन वन थर्टी एट ऑफ द एक्ट द बाउंसिंग मीन्स वेन अ चेक इज रिटर्न बाय द बैंक अनपेड फॉर इनसफिशियंसी ऑफ फंड इनसफिशियंसी ऑफ फंड और एक्सीडिंग अरेंजमेंट्स इन द अकाउंट लिमिट्स क्रॉस करके विद इन सिक्स मंथ from its date or validity period whichever is earlier okay so uh, what are the condition for filing complaint under section 138 of the act the check must have been issued for discharge of uh, legally enforceable debt or liability koi value di honi chahiye a ne b ko check diya for what koi service di hai koi product or deliver kar rahe hain the payee or holder in due course must have given notice in writing 
टू द ड्रॉर विद इन थर्टी डेज ऑफ रिसीविंग इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द बैंक अबाउट द डिस ओनर आपने चेक लगाया बैंक में थर्टी डेज के आपको पता चल गया वो बाउंस हो चुका है विद इन थर्टी डेज यू नीड टू टेक एक्शन यू नीड टू सेंड अफ्टीन डेज नोटिस राइट and uh, after the 15 days notice period the drawer had failed to make the payment drawer ne paisa nahi diya right then you file your case right these are the conditions for filing a complaint under section 138 so what is the limitation period for filing a complaint under section 138 within one month from the date of expiry of 15 days period aapne 15 days ka notice period de diya aapne dekhiye jab aapka check bounce hua within 30 days you need to send a notice 15 days notice you gave a 15 days notice uh, to the to the other person right uh, jisse aapne payment leni hai and within 50 days uh, if you are not getting any reply any payment uh, from the payee then you need to uh, within one month you need to uh, file the case otherwise ab uske baad nahi kar sakte that is a limitation period okay what are hundis Uh, in the traditional markets, they are used. Uh, these are the indigenous instrument, desi instruments for uh, financing trade and commerce in India, right? And uh, what are promissory note under section four? बड़ा basic सा question है. Instruments containing an unconditional promise. It's an unconditional promise. Please check it. To pay certain sum of money to a certain person or to his order or the bearer. That is what. a promissory note it is a promise it's not an order okay what are bill bills of exchange instruments containing an unconditional order it's an order not a promise to pay certain sum of money to a certain person or his order or to the bearer right and what is the name of scheme that provides an alternative mechanism for the resolution of disputes relating to banking services in india <coughs> that is integrated ombudsman scheme otherwise known as banking ombudsman scheme now it is integrated ombudsman scheme so students bank of baroda scale 3 msme course it's available on bankexamstudy.com in the last 15 days you can revise your concepts using our course link to join the course is available in the description please check the description this is my whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and i'm going to answer your doubts i hope you like the today's session If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts. List of our successful students in the past. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts, and we are going to answer your doubts. Okay, and that's all for today, students. Thank you, and have a very nice day. Bye bye.